I look like I have a black eye. I know, what's going on? There we go. Guess who I'm here with, guys? I don't know who it is either. <laughs> hey guys, I am here with a very, very special guest. Please welcome Kim Kardashian West to my channel. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. I am, this is, thank you for even having me. Yes, I know, she's petite, I'm not. Oh, stop. I'm just gonna be like, hi guys. <laughs> so today, I am gonna do something really fun on Kim. We're gonna throw it back to the power of makeup. Half, Half the face. face. What side of my face do you this wanna one. do? Okay guys, I have a darker circle on that side. So. <laughs> She's like, I have a darker circle, I'm like, I'm the Hulk. <laughs> so today we're gonna do the power of makeup and we're throwing it back for me by doing the power of makeup, but we're also throwing it back for you. We're gonna go back to the bronzy, the glam. The maybe. like 2009? Yes. yes. Mario and I like date them. By years, we know how crazy we got. Okay, which yeah. which one was 2009 the craziest? 2009 was very white under eye. Yes. We did it a little too white. No, um, I live. 2011, what? I got a little crazy, a little heavy with the foundation. You know who you're talking to right now, right? I know, you look flawless. Yeah, because like there's a lot on here. Kind of. I wish I could do that on myself. I should Ever take since... advantage of this time and get a lesson on how to do my makeup. You got I think. it. Let's go down to memory lane. Okay. And oh my God, I'm gonna... Okay, let's see what... I took a makeup class when I was 14. My dad put me in a makeup class and it was Joe Blasco and then Derma Blend. I just got into that Morphe sponge. It's so good. I brought mm -hmm. you one. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It's just fascinating to me how everyone just gets into the business and makes yeah. such a name for themselves. How did you get into it? I had the flu and I was watching The Hills out of all mm -hmm. shows. And I was 14 and um, I was like, oh, they look really beautiful. And I was really insecure and I got bullied. And I was like, you know what? I want to look like them. So I found a tutorial on YouTube and this girl did wake up and makeup. And I was like, oh That's my so God, this is a world of beauty and like all these tips and tricks and like a zombie. I was like, I need to be this. I took my bike, bought my first like eyeliner, mascara. And, and after three months, I was like, you know what? Let me film my own. Do you want to see it? I do. My accent was rough. <laughs> How cool that you can do this like all the way from Holland. That's what I love about the internet. It doesn't matter where you are. You're gonna die. Oh my god. YouTubers, this is going to be my first um, makeup tutorial. Yeah. Um, but the fact that you have that when you're 14, I wish I had a video like that. I'm 14. That's really cute. Were your parents like, what are you doing? So my parents didn't know for like the first two years I would hide it from them. And my mom would be like, where's my camera? Where's my, I can't find my camera. I'd be like, I don't know where that is. And my brother um, found a video and he's like, yeah, here you go, mom. And I'm like, I ran away. I was so embarrassed, but they loved it. And they were like, since when do you speak English? They were like so confused. When did you find that like passion for makeup? I mean, I think every, kid, like my mom was always really into makeup. It's always the mom. Yeah, and so I would sit in her room and always just try on. I remember I actually got into foundation first really? of hers. Yeah, and I would just put it all over my face. And I remember her walking in like, what are you doing? And I was like, I don't know, I'm just copying you. And she would wear red lips all the time. I wasn't really into that. I was just into the foundation. When I was 14, my dad said, you know, you girls are gonna be getting ready to start wearing makeup a lot, and I don't want you guys to look crazy, so I'm gonna put you in a makeup class by Joe Blasco. I don't know why Joe Blasco, or how, I think his fiance at the time wore that makeup and found what? a makeup artist. So they, I remember we went there, they put us in a room kind of like this with video what? cameras and lights. And then they did our makeup and explained it as they did it and then videotaped it and gave us the VHS tape when we were done. You still have it? I don't know where, I bet oh, I have it somewhere. Oh. I know, I would die to have this video. And we would watch it and see how to put on concealer but it was like the heavy duty like studio makeup. It wasn't yeah. like just oh light makeup. It was like I liner mean, it's true and, Blasco, yeah. and then in high school 
my friend um, would always talk to me about color makeup, like glitters and purples and blues and greens. And then she was like, no, my dad, um, she didn't really know her dad growing up. And so when she was in high school, she met her dad. So her dad started um, Makeup Forever. And he wanted no. to just pamper her like no. all the time and give her all this makeup. So You're kidding me. We'd go, they had a store in New York and we'd go to the store. We'd stay at his apartment in New York yeah. with him there and we would just, I remember she would just get me so much free makeup and I just oh remember having God. so much colored makeup. I was so excited. What was your favorite color? This like turquoise color. It's it was like a turquoise glittery pot. Yeah. Such like a pigmented shimmer and I would put it underneath my eyes and I would always wear, I made these headbands, these floral headbands and I sold them at like Fred Siegel and all these stores and um, mm -hmm. I would do the turquoise flowered headbands with the turquoise eyeshadow. I'd always match burgundy with burgundy shadow. Match it to your, oh my God. Match it to my little flower headband. How did you meet Mario? You know, I was doing this shoot and um, he was the makeup artist and it was like, I don't even know if I had my show yet. Or Simon was like, hey, do you wanna do this magazine for my friend, it's a cover. And at that time I was like, sure, anything, you know? Right, right, right. And um, he was the makeup artist and I guess I called him the night before. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, I'm in New York, we might as well just do it. Yeah. He was the makeup artist and I just, he made me feel and look so like ethnic and Armenian and like just so different than anyone else had. Yeah. And I just loved how I looked. Actually, we, we had filmed because I had worked with other makeup artists to know the difference. I feel like if there's one thing that we should all be very thankful for is for you and Mario taking away the being afraid for makeup. Because so many people are like, oh my God, yeah. what is all of that? And Colors. I feel like you guys were like, no, it's okay. Here's how you do it. Here's how you look. Beautiful with oh, it. Thank yeah. you. I thank feel you. like if it wasn't for you, people nowadays with contouring or like anything like foundation concealer would be like, ew. Oh, away. thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we just, I loved makeup and I was like, go do whatever you want. Like make it smoky. Like I really just wanted more and more and more. I honestly, with everything that I've done, I've never worked harder than on makeup. It's crazy that like I see this brush going, going over your eye and I'm like, I saw that eye when I was younger, and I thought, wow, that's a beautiful smoky eye, you know? I'm doing that smoky eye. <laughs> so do you watch a lot of YouTube videos? Not even makeup, but like. I watch what's like a probably 30 YouTube videos a day, but all on opening toys and making slime. That is my life. Or watch stupid music videos like the gummy bear. <laughs> A stupid gummy bear song. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Oh, just to annoy you guys, I'll, oh, I'll, no. I'll play it for one second. Okay, this is what I have to watch you guys 500 times a day. This has one billion views. Oh, I'm a gummy bear. Yes, I'm a gummy bear. Oh, I'm a yummy, gummy, Just to get this in your head and annoy you for the rest of the night. That's all you guys get. I can't believe I willingly played that. What a good brow. You like it? Mm -hmm. And it went on so easy. What a good brow. Okay, bunch of neutrals. Mm -hmm. My eyes are two different shapes. Thank God we did the power of me. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the hardest? You were like, okay, after all these years of being obsessed with makeup, I wanna give it a go. What was the hardest? Was it colors? Was it like the consistency? Well, I think at first, doing a line with my sisters really prepped me. Like, I just really wanted something that would be perfect, I'd be proud of, mm -hmm. I'd wear all the time. Just like, genuinely product that I love. What's your favorite makeup look? I like this when I'm wearing it. It's like my safe, like, it's like I know what to do. Glowy, pretty. Chloe should come out with the part of highlighter should have been called Glowy Chloe. That's such a missed opportunity. <laughs> I know. Should we call her? I gotta tell her. Have you ever fallen asleep during glam? I've done glam on the floor sleeping. 
Yeah, when I was really sick in New York and I had to film, and I'm like, I can't even sit in the chair, and I used to lay down. And even if I'm really jet lagged in, in France, I remember sleeping on the bed and being like, do my makeup and wake me up when it's over. And I had full under eye concealer, bottom, everything, mascara, I don't know how. Mario did that? No choice. How? I have no idea. How did she get perfect. underneath? No clue. Are you into Game of Thrones? I've never seen it, no. I'm leaving. I know, Goodbye. I heard. It's it was so great good. seeing you, Kim. It's great. <laughs> Not once? Not once. No, but we, I should catch up. We need to talk. Because I kind of want to dye my hair blonde, and then really I can do that for Halloween. So that is the top done. Mm-hmm. No, I'm gonna do it differently because I can't do it with the stripes. I'm the makeup artist that can't do stripes. Oh my god, I'm contouring the contour queen. That's such an interesting technique, I like that. I like it because it can really build up to how far you want it. Mm -hmm. I feel like you have more control. I like your rhythm pattern. <laughs> Little circles. Mm -hmm. Two thousand nine called. They want Kim back. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a new brush. So it's an angle. It's bigger. And then kind I of like a highlighter. That. Yeah. That's good. I started with powder contour. Like, that's how I learned. But first we're gonna set the rest. And with the lighter powder, I'm setting the light areas of the face. So I blended over the contour a tiny bit, but we're really gonna wanna intensify that later on. That's your new bronzer. So you're the first person that's using... The brush the, and the palette. The brush and the palette. Yep, that's just my one sample palette. Go ahead, say it. You're the first. Come on with the contour shade. It's a good brush. Oh, I love the contour. Mm-hmm. It's the best. So good. Oh, can you do my other side of my face so I can nope. go out tonight? This looks so good. You're gonna come home? Your husband's gonna be like... I'm gonna just see if okay. he notices. I'm literally just gonna see if he notices. Just be like, hey. Even then, he won't. <laughs> you know what I love is shimmer blushes, too. Really? I mm -hmm. can't work with them. I try to, but. Just a little bit when I'm not using a lot of highlight. Yeah, you're talking to the wrong person. Yeah. When I started doing, wearing highlighter with a bare face. Chloe does that to work out. People are like, you look amazing, I girl. Know. It's every time she works out, she does it, and I think, fuck, that's just what I gotta do. Is it's just put highlighter with a bare face. And everyone's like, you're glowing. Yeah, they people don't get it. They just think you're literally glowing. Yep. That's the trick of all fucking sorcery. Tricks. <laughs> Ready? For the blindingness. I'm gonna mix, I like mixing. Oh, this is my favorite part, you guys. We're twins. This is a pretty major highlighter. Mario doesn't even have this. Like I haven't even given it to or anyone. Oh shit. Anyone. I mean, that's pretty glowy if you ask me. Mm -hmm. Do you like? I love. I can tell it's your thing. Now I'm so excited. I'm even more excited. Tomorrow on Snap, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be my trick. I yeah. forgot. Chloe with the no makeup working out and highlighter. Nikki is so shady, she's only doing half my fucking face. She wants me to go out like this. You love it though. <laughs> oh. I say let's put a lash on. You can choose. Ooh, maybe that one. I 
what I'm gonna do when I get home? What? I'm gonna try to recreate the other side of the face. I'll snap it. I can't like wait that. for that glow to come out. It's so good. And that's it, guys. The power of makeup on Kim. How do you like it? Which one do you guys like better? I'm gonna watch this tape back so many times to figure out how to do this. Mm -hmm. but I wanna try to do the other face and see so if I can remember how you do this. I'm gonna you channel this. you and just... Don't text Mario. I won't. No help. Won't. No help. <laughs> no help. This was such... A dream come true. Thank you so much. Oh, You've thank been you. amazing. And oh, literally one of the most down to earth, genuine people I've met. So oh, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, no, I mean it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I will see you guys on the next one.